To write the name for CuO, that's copper two oxide, we'll use the periodic table and a few simple rules. So we go to the periodic table. We know copper is a metal, oxygen is a nonmetal. It's going to be an ionic compound. We're going to write the name for Cu, which is copper. And then we're going to write the name for O, oxygen. Because it's ionic for oxygen, we get rid of the end here, the Y-G-E-N, and write I-D-E. So at this point, we have the name copper oxide. Copper is in the middle of the periodic table, and it's what we call a transition metal. Because of that, we have to be very specific about writing its charge, because copper can have several different charges. So what we'll do is we'll look at the oxygen. We know oxygen has a minus 2 charge. And that means that the copper has to have a plus two charge. And to show that copper has a plus two charge, we put parentheses and we write the Roman numeral two. That makes the formula for CuO copper two oxide. This two here, all it means is that the copper atom has a plus two charge on it. This is Dr. B with the name for CuO copper two oxide. And thanks for watching.